Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I've been to a lot of hockey games this season and now, unfortunately, with pretty much every Canadian team being eliminated from the Stanley Cup playoffs, fingers crossed still for Edmonton to keep going, I'm going to be ranking the top five places to watch an NHL game in Canada. Now, the National Hockey League has the best players in the world, but who has the best fan experience from the food to the stadium to the atmosphere you know is it a good vibe is it worth your money I'm gonna break down all the pros and cons so let's get into it now in my number five slot I've been trying not to hold this against them too much but I've been in hockey games all across the world and unfortunately the only time I've ever had a fan try and fight me was Calgary Alberta so I was leaving the stadium after the game the flames had lost I always wear neutral clothing I know that's not apparent today but a drunk flames fan came up to me was just you know, more or less getting in my face, trying to start something. I just kind of walked away and left it. I will say because of that, that is one of the main reasons why I had the flames in my five spot. The 200s didn't really feel too much like 200 section seats either. The construction around Calgary in that downtown area is a bit much right now too. I know that's only gonna be a temporary thing, but I will say I cannot wait for them to get that new stadium because the Salo Dome is definitely in need of some upgrades. But overall, you know, the atmosphere was okay. They did lose to Vegas, which always factors into how electric the environment it's going to be. Stadium food was all right. I had a fried chicken sandwich. The bum was cold and hard, but the fried chicken was actually really, really good. But yeah, unfortunately, because of the altercation, you know, it just doesn't really sit well with me. And I think it does say something that I've been to Romania, the Czech Republic, you know, all across Germany, uh, a couple games in the States as well, even, you know, across Canada. And the only time I've ever had a negative altercation with a fan was literally this drunk Flames fan trying to fight me after the game. So yeah, that's why Calgary has to be my five spot. I'm sorry. Now for my number four, I know I'm probably putting some salt and lemon in the wound here after a tough second round, but the Toronto Maple Leafs, unfortunately for me, are gonna go in the number four slot. Now, the main reason for this is ticket pricing. I really don't think the cost of admission is worth a home Maple Leafs game right now. I mean, I paid $180 for my seat against the Detroit Red Wings. I know it's an original six matchup. It's a classic game, you know. Weekend game, the atmosphere was kind of dead. There wasn't a whole lot of people there, which I was really surprised with. I was very optimistic actually. I thought I was going to go into Scotiabank Arena and it was just going to be an electric game. Red Wings did beat them 5 to 2, but even when it was close like 2 to 2 or 3 to 2, the arena was just dead. It really didn't bring the energy, which I was honestly very surprised with. The concessions were okay overall. I really like the hard popcorn, the caramel popcorn. Get the one with just caramel though, not the chocolate one. Overall though, because everything was just super expensive and I mean, for context, and I know you can't really compare the two markets that much, but the Anaheim Ducks, I paid for three tickets in the 300s, $130 Canadian. My one Maple Leafs ticket in the 300s was 180. So I got two more tickets for less than 50 bucks in Anaheim a team that's won the Stanley Cup fairly recently. I, I get it, different markets, but that really doesn't sit well with me. I will say I also did go to a Buffalo Sabres game, which is kind of why I'm wearing this today, ironically. And so I drove down from, I was staying in the Mississauga area, so I drove down from Mississauga, went to the Sabres game, they played the Rangers, they won in overtime, it was a great atmosphere. Ticket was super cheap, I had a 100 level ticket that was actually cheaper than my 300 ones. So if I'm a hockey fan and I'm not like a diehard Maple Leafs fan, if I'm in the Toronto area, honestly, I would prefer just taking the drive down to Buffalo, you know, exploring the States a little bit, exploring that city for the day, going to the game and then driving back at night. I like, it's cheaper. Again, I really did enjoy the atmosphere a lot more down in Buffalo than I did in Toronto, unfortunately. I will say though, I have to give a shout out to like Maple Leaf Square. That place is absolutely electric. Let's say you're not a big fan of going to Buffalo or you really do want to go to a Leafs game or you can't justify the price. Try and get into Maple Leaf Square. Like that is actually where I think you would have the most fun over Overall, just as a Leafs fan or a hockey fan going to a game. I will say I've seen the clips online. I haven't actually been there for a Leafs game. I've been there when the Raptors unfortunately lost to LeBron in that playoff run that one year and it was absolutely incredible and free, which is a big plus. Unless they've changed that, Maple Leaf Square is still free, right? Like you can just show up. Now let's get to an honorable mention, Vancouver Canucks, Winnipeg Jets, literally nothing against them. I just didn't actually get out to those two teams this season. I am thinking I'll redo this video once I get out to Vancouver and Winnipeg. And maybe what I'll actually do is like next season, I'll go to all the Canadian teams and we'll do like a, to make this experiment as accurate as possible, I'll grab like say the tickets where they're playing like Arizona or something like that right like a neutral team that like you know there's no rivalries or like added you know storylines or anything like that it's literally just like baseline experience of playing like a team like yeah like Arizona doesn't really have any massive rivalries unless I'm mistaken with any Canadian teams maybe like 
Vancouver fans, how do you feel about Arizona? I mean, Montreal, no. Toronto, uh, maybe there's a little Austin Matthews Toronto thing. Oh, the experiment probably actually wouldn't work if Matthews leaves in free agency to his hometown and plays for the Coyotes. And now all of a sudden you have Arizona and Austin Matthews versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm really making Leafs fans mad, so I'm sorry. But anyways, let me know if you'd like to see that video. But we'll go to my number three slot, a team that I have a lot of love for because I lived in the city for four years as a University of Ottawa student. I gotta put the Ottawa Senators in number three. Now, obviously a big con with this is that their stadium is so far. Like I only went to like probably like three or four games throughout my whole undergrad. And the main reason for this is because I did not want to get on the OC Transpo for like an hour. And Uber is like, depending on the time, 40 to $60. As a university student, no thank you. Maybe another gripe that I have with the Ottawa Senators right now or the NHL is that, you know, hey, Ryan Reynolds' bid is not going through. And as unfortunate as that is though, when you do get out there, I really love a Senators game, okay? It's a cheaper game. Their concessions are actually like pretty low comparatively throughout the whole NHL. And it's always a really good atmosphere, mainly because you get a mix. So because the tickets are so cheap, when the Habs are in town or like the Leafs are in, town it's almost like you get like a little bit of a, like a clash like a 50 50 clash and so I, I don't know i know that's kind of like a little bit of a knock on the senators but i really do enjoy any time that i can get out to a sense game and i think ottawa is a great city for a lot of nhl players i mean if anybody knows about the panda weekend 24,000 drunk university students all in lands down after last year's game i went with uh, my friend and her father and her friends and we sat at joey lands down which is a restaurant in ottawa for those who don't know we were out on the patio for like two hours like i said this was after the game so you have like i said 24,000 like drunk university students roaming around walking out on the patio uh behind our table was sat brady chuck and tim stutzel and in the two hours that we were sat in front of them i think one group of fans so like two people came up and asked for a photo so as an nhl player in ottawa you do get that level of like respect for your personal time right and yeah because i think on the contrary if that was say austin matthews and mitch marner in say downtown Toronto on a patio, those guys aren't getting a bite out of their meal. And probably vice versa for say a Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield in Montreal. A lot of love for Ottawa. I'm always secretly rooting for the Ottawa Senators. One of my favorite memories from university was when I was actually on the bus. I don't I forget where I was going, but it was right after that deep playoff run where they unfortunately lost to the Penguins in the conference final. And like Pajot was going off and like obviously Pajot is like a local name. So like everybody was just chanting Pajot, 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 Pajot. So overall just, you know, a lot of love for the Senators and that's why they're in my number three slot. Again, the big con is the drive to Canada, but a lot of upside to going to an Ottawa Senators game. Now my number two slot is going to surprise some people and probably make a few people mad, but I have to actually put the Montreal Canadiens in my number two slot. The Bell Center did not disappoint whatsoever. The crowd was absolutely electric. I grew up a Montreal Canadiens fan, so walking in there with my grandfather this year, was literally a dream come true. But overall, the prices are a little bit steep, especially depending on who they're playing. And I had a lot higher expectations for the concessions, actually. Honestly, on any given day, two and one could be flipped, okay? But the fact that the Habs are in the bottom of the NHL pool right now, and it was as electric as it was for the games that I went to, kudos to Habs fans. I absolutely love my time there. The atmosphere is incredible. The fact that I can practice my French as well, too, I love it. Jim Le Canadien de Montréal. Any French speakers, let me know how my French was. I'm sorry, Montreal, you gotta be number two because Edmonton, holy cow, blew my mind. The food was incredible. The pricing wasn't terrible. They were playing Arizona, so maybe that had a little bit of a factor into it, whereas Montreal was actually playing Edmonton. And rarely do I ever say that a player is worth the cost of admission, but Connor McDavid, I saw him play two times this season when it was on the road in Montreal and in Edmonton. I understand the hype. Again, like I don't, I very rarely am like, yes, like this player is worth going just to watch him play and perform at the sport. And literally like Connor McDavid is that. I I, I'm still mind blown at like what he can just do with a puck. Overall, the Edmonton fans were also super, super nice. I really, really enjoyed my time in that city. Our whole section kind of turned into like a little friend group over the course of the game. McDavid actually scored his 60th in overtime to beat the Arizona Coyotes. But yeah, that is my top five list. Like I said, sorry to Vancouver and Winnipeg for not getting out this season. Let me know if you'd like to see a video, like I said, with that whole breakdown. And if you enjoyed this video, I actually think you're really gonna enjoy the time that I went to Montreal. That video is up on the screen there now and yeah in the meantime stay best kind